The Wolverines returned to full workouts this week after the athletic department's two-week pause. Head coach Mel Pearson said the team had been playing its best hockey of the season. So you go from a real high to a, a low. Um, but our whole uh, emphasis going forward was to make sure that we use this couple weeks to get better. However that might be, uh, each individual had to find a way to, to push themselves, to train, to come up with some different things to make sure that uh, we use the time to improve. There's no ice here, no ice available, so just finding, uh, finding time on your own to go uh, 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 stay active, at least, you know, uh, finding a pond to skate on, stick handling in, uh, in the back of your house, you know, whatever we can do. But uh, I thought we did a good job, and uh, since we've been back on the ice, I've been impressed with how everybody's been doing. Pearson talked about losing things like conditioning and timing, but there's something else he singled out as crucial to get back. Some urgency to your game. You know, those, those are some of the big things, some, you know, unity, teamwork, uh, and how do you get those back? Uh, competition and lots of skating. So uh, we've been on the ice now as a team for a couple days, and it's gone well. It's gone well. Practices have been really good, and, uh, you know, the chemistry is uh, still there from where we left off, and I think it's just important, uh, you know, knowing where we left off and not, not skipping a beat. So uh, I think we've done that so far, and, um, you know, the drills have been good, practices have been good. Wisconsin comes in Saturday at 2 o'clock and Sunday at 5. Michigan swept the Badgers early this season, but UW moved into first place in the Big Ten last weekend. I picked them to finish in the top two. I knew they had the talent. It was just a matter of time before it, it started to come out. They're a young team like we are. You know, they're, they're top two players, really, or scorers or sophomores. So it just took them a little bit of time. And they had some issues with Team USA and Team Canada and whatnot. So they finally just have their team all together now. And, and they're a good team. This week, we've been honoring the 1996 National Championship team. Head coach Mel Pearson was an assistant on that club, and he recalls very fondly the memories built with that special group of Michigan hockey players. It just seemed like it was uh, a little bit of relief, like Michigan, you know, finally, after all these years and all these good teams, just a lot of happiness for, for Coach Berenson and just for him returning and you know he had a vision what he wanted to do with Michigan and where he wanted this program to be and to finally get to the top of the mountain was uh, very satisfying for so many reasons. Pearson says they were so talented but played as one, a lesson he can share with his current very talented club. You know the things that you need to do to have success. Now it's easier said than done because you have that formula and you're trying to do it every year. But sometimes you don't have the right ingredients. Sometimes you know that team's not on the same page playing together. Injuries, you know, you need good luck. You have to be good, but you need some luck also. But there's no question, you take a lot of things away, not only from that team, but other teams that have had success and try to put them in your program uh, and use that recipe. For MGO Blue TV, I'm Ed Kingerski.